our meetings. It's so great that we have this place. Yes, and Pastor Chow and Elder Tso will certainly never find us. Right. Hey, Sister Dong, Sister Yang. Chin Shin. You have come just in time today. Please come in some things with us. Yeah, please. Okay. Okay. Since we began studying the last day's work of Almighty God, the pastor and elder have been disturbing us and restricting us. Yes. This is most hateful. They circulate rumors and fallacies to deceive us, cutting us off from the true way. Yes. yes. How can pastors and elders act this way? Right. 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 Recently, we have read a lot of Almighty God's words and have understood some truths and have some discernment toward the fallacies that the pastor and elders spread. Indeed. Indeed. Though our grasp of the words of Almighty God is actually quite shallow, we still need you to commune it with us. Yes. 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 Okay. Have a fellowship. Have a fellowship. Thanks be to God. Feel free to ask us questions if you're uncertain. Right. So let us seek the truth in the words of Almighty God. Very, Very good. good. Have a seat, everyone. Okay. We need to listen carefully. Sister Dong, let me start by asking a question. Please. In the Bible, Paul pronounces, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ to another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel to you than that which we have preached to you, let him be accursed. Based on these words, the pastor says, our belief in Almighty God departs from the Lord Jesus, departs from the Lord Jesus' salvation, and we believe in a new gospel. This is apostasy and a betrayal of God. In saying this, the pastor and elder have confused us. We feel that these words are not right, but they are quoting the Bible, using the words of Paul. We aren't able to see where the error could be. Would you please discuss this issue with all of us? Yes, please discuss, yes, it. Yes, please discuss, yes, please discuss it with us. Sister Tian, this is a very important question. Many people struggle with this. Many people have read the Bible, but don't seek the truth. They generalize without discernment, applying words carelessly. Thus, people may easily be deceived and misled. If the pastor and elder quote the Bible out of context, those who seek the true way may be confounded. Right? Right. Indeed. In fact, Paul said this to indicate that there was only one gospel in the age of grace, namely the gospel of the Lord Jesus' redemption work. In the last days, when the Lord Jesus returns, it is the coming of God's kingdom, which is the descent of heavenly kingdom. This is the gospel of the age of kingdom. The gospel of the age of kingdom and of the age of grace are different work for very different ages. So in explaining the Bible, it's necessary to grasp the principle that much of the content of the Bible is bound by ages. What does bound by ages mean? I've never heard that before. As Jehovah, God said, during the age of law, the Lord God is my name forever. And this is my memorial to all generations. These words mean that during the age of law, the name Jehovah would absolutely not change. In the age of grace, the record of the Bible is, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. This means that during the age of grace, the name Jesus would not change. In the age of kingdom, God's name changed again. It became Almighty God. Here in the prophecy of Revelation comes true. I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, and I will write on him my new name. Amen. Yes, the prophecy in Revelation states it clearly. He will have a new name in the last days. Right. Yes, God really has had a different name during each age. That's right. It's clear that much of the Bible is set against the background of the age. Therefore, Paul said, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ 
to another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel to you than that which we have preached to you, let him be accursed. The meaning of these words is, during the age of grace, salvation could be gained only through belief in the Lord Jesus and accepting his work of redemption. That's right. Oh, certainly, yes. But at the time when Paul said these words, he did not say that when the Lord returned, it would be wrong to spread the gospel of the kingdom. Right. True. True. Even less did he say that those who testified his return would be spreading another gospel. That's true. Could Paul know that the Lord's return would change the age? He could not know. Paul was only a man. He was not the Lord. How could he know? True. Right. Paul was just an apostle who spread the gospel. He was not a prophet. How could Paul know God would bring the gospel of the descent of the kingdom when he returned in the last days? Therefore, pastors of religious circles use Paul's words spoken to the church during the age of grace to condemn the work of Almighty God. Isn't this absurd and fallacious? Right. right. Isn't this quoting out of context and distorting the Bible? Agreed. Yes. This time I understand it. Paul's words were spoken with reference to the age of grace. Yes. yes. The pastor and the elder don't understand the Bible. They interpret the Bible based on their own ideas. Mm -hmm. exactly. The pastor and elder use Paul's words to impede our acceptance of Almighty God's gospel. How evil this is. Isn't this blocking us from the kingdom of heaven? It is. We certainly can't believe the words that the pastor and elder say. Right. Right. 